Hello guys, this is Faith, and today we're checking out and reviewing um, the TGT set that's coming out in three days. So we're gonna just go over cards, see what uh, what they could do to the meta, the current meta, the future meta, the things that could come out in the future days, the decks that could potentially come and destroy the current decks and stuff like that. So we're gonna start with Druid. We have Living Roots. It's one mana, choose one, deal two damage, or summon two 1-1 one, one saplings. This card is the early presence that Druid needed with two 1-1 one, one saplings. It's, it kind of fights aggro really nice, and it says Holy Smite in the other way. So it's either remove a knife juggler or just have two 1-1s one, that will deal with, I don't know, Lepernome and Vorian. It's a nice presence. You can even buff them. It's a token druid card in, in, the, in the other way. So yeah, it's a good card. It might see some play in token druid and maybe even instead of wrath, it could see play. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think this is a good card. It's definitely going to see at least one of in uh, any druid. Second card we have is Darnassus Aspirant. Uh, Balakai gain an empty mana crystal, death rattle lose a mana crystal. So it's uh, basically uh, wild growth and legs. Uh, it's a 2 mana 2-3, two, which is really good stats, you can trade it away. If you play this turn 1, you have 3 mana turn the next turn, and you can play, I don't know, shade and trade it away, and then you still have the shade, and you're still on 3 mana next turn, so you basically lost nothing. This, this card is just a gain, it can be a loss. In any way, so it might remove one wild growth, wild growth instead of the for this card. I'm maybe run two of these. It's very good. We'll see. I think it's gonna be played. Just a more tempo-ish card and stuff. I like it. Uh, Dread of the Saber. Choose one transform and transform to gain charge on or plus one plus one and stealth. It's 2 mana, 2 1. So either you gain 2 1 with charge, you get a fucking uh, Murloc with charge. Or plus 1 plus 1 is self, which is plus 1 plus 1 Borgen, I guess. I don't know, this card probably wants to play. I mean, I'd much rather play a Jonas' Aspirant. Stuff doesn't do much in the early game. Even Vorgan doesn't do much. I mean, if you're playing Vorgan. It's just gonna go face, it doesn't matter if it's stealth or not, it's just gonna get... It wouldn't get removed, I think. This is a bad card, I don't I don't think it's gonna see play. Maybe in an aggro druid, but hardly. Nah, I don't, I don't see it. It's just gonna be probably 5 dust. The uh, next card is an epic, uh, Mulch. 3 mana, destroy a minion, add a random minion to your opponent's hand. It's finally... Hard removal for your uh, for Druid. I'm gonna play one of these in my in my deck instead of I don't know. What do I even run in my deck in my Druid deck? I might run this instead of maybe Mind Control Tech, maybe Kazan, maybe a Surge Rake. I don't know. We'll see how the meta changes. But meanwhile, yeah, this is a very good card. It's a 3 mana assassinate, and you get give your opponent a random minion. There are about 3 or 400 minions in the game right now, and he still has to play it. He, has to, he still has to waste the mana to play it, well not waste, spend. I think it's a good card. It can even work in, in Mildred. Yeah, it's pretty good. Astral Communion, it's another epic, and it's 4 mana, gain 10 mana crystals, discard your hand. Never will I ever play this card, <laughs> it's so bad. If you, like, double, you can, uh, like, innervate coin into this card, you have to top deck like a god. You have to, like, top deck into Ancient of Lore, into, uh, I don't know, innervate, um... Nourish into Ancient of War, into Ragnaros, into uh, Sarah, into Sylvanas. You have to top like, like a top deck like a god. You can make a deck around this card, but then if you don't get this card, you're fucked. Yeah, this card won't see play. Maybe it will see play in some gimmicky decks, but not in actual constructed and uh, 
good competitive decks. Next card is a rare Savage Combatant. Uh, 4 mana, 5, 4. Inspire, give your hero plus 2 attack this turn, and it's a beast. Um, the more I think about this card, the worse it is. In the first sight, it's pretty good, because your hero can attack for 3. That's pretty good. But then, what are you going to attack for 3? I don't think this card will see play. Maybe there will be a beast druid thingy, but... Uh, I don't know. They're support supporting Beast Druid with this, and I can see where this is going, but uh, I don't think this particular card will suit play. Because uh, 4 health is really low. Any removal can kill it, and it's an aggressive card. I don't see it. Next is Wild, Walk Wild Walker. Uh, 4 mana 4 4, Balakai with a friendly beast plus 3 health. It's an uh, upgraded repair bot for Druid. So it's, it's again pushing beasts. So you can have like turn five, uh, drill your claw and make this make him a turn a turn uh, seven turn turn <laughs> turn six uh, four nine. Nope. Nah, I don't see it. Maybe beast dread will be a thing, but I don't think so. It's a good card. It's a good stat line, kind of, because it's like four seven basically, for four. But you have to have a beast on the board. It could be a thing, you know. It could be a thing eventually. I'll definitely try it out if I get it. If I get to play like Beast Druid, Knight of the Wild is a rare card. Seven mana six six. Whenever you summon the beast, reduce the cost of this card by one. While well, this is in your hand, not while well, this is in your deck. This could be broken otherwise. Uh, yeah. Again, Beast Druid being pushed, but you have to have this in your hand, and if you have this in your hand by turn 1, this is a dead card, and you have to play Beasts. You have to play a Hunter Creeper, was a good Beast on turn 2, turn 3, I can figure it out. Maybe Savage Combatant. And this, again, will be at, really, at, at most 4 mana, 6-6, six, six, and it'll be, then will get removed. I don't see it being played, really. I don't see it. And the legendary Aviana. 9 mana 5-5, five, five, your minus cost 1. This is a really good card. I'm, I'm crafting it. Uh, it's uh, basically... You win if you manage to turn 10 and you have an Innervate in your hand. So this, Innervate... I don't know, Ragnaros, Sylvanas, and Sarah, And you win. And then again, you have to keep your inner rate until then, and you might need it for something else. It's very kind of situational, but I like this card, and I'm definitely going to play it in my Ramp Druid, or uh, combo maybe even. Hybrid Druid could be a thing. I like this card. I'm going to make it. It's worth 1600 dust. Next class is Hunter. We have Brave Archer. Uh, 1 mana, 2, 1. Inspire. If your hand is empty, deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. People were crazy about this card because it's such a face card, but then again, Face Hunter does not play like it used to. In Face Hunter, you not have cards in your hand. You actually have cards. You're not trying to spam your hand out by turn 3. And this card could be a thing if people actually played Face Hunter, like spam your hand by turn 3 and then just do nothing for the rest of the game. Uh, Maybe a one of instead of Vorgan because this is just overall better than Vorgan. Because that's just because of the spire effect. Um it's 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 gonna see played in Face Hunter, but Face Hunter is gonna die. Face Hunter won't be a thing in my opinion. Midrange Hunter will be a be be an option because the control there will be a control meta, but Face on the mid range hunter will be again much more controlish than the current mid range hunter. I don't know. This could see play if uh, face hunter is still the meta, but I don't know. I probably won't. Uh, bear trap another two mana secret after your hero is attacked. Summon a three three bear with taunt. So um, your hero gets smacked in the face and then this triggers. So you get uh, iron be iron for a grizzly. You get an iron for a grizzly out of this. 
2 mana 3-3. Three, three. You coin this on turn 1 and you have a huge tempo. I like this card and definitely I played in my mid-range hunter. I really like this card. This is uh, what uh, Explosive Trap used to be. After your hero is attacked, deal to damage all enemy minions and the hero. Uh, so this card is an echo of the uh, Explosive Trap that used to be. I like this card a lot. My card even crafted golden. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it though. It's really nice. I like it. Lock and load is a uh, is an epic hunter card. It's two mana. Uh, lock and load. Each time you cast a spell this turn, and a random hunter card to your hand. So you can play uh, uh, arcane shot. You can play uh, tracking. You can play hunter's mark. And this card will give you another random hunter card. Just wanna see. How many good hunter cards are there? So we have uh, good cards. Glutsuka, Bear Trap, Explosive Trap is pretty good. Reason Trap is pretty good. You have you got another lock and load, it's, it's self value. You get Snake Trap is pretty good. You get, I don't know, Inglehorn Boat is pretty good. Deadly Shot is pretty good. Unleash is pretty good. Red Scale could be really good. Meltooth is gonna be bullshit. Uh, Simple Master could be okay ish. King of Beasts is gonna be shit. Uh, Ram, Ram Wrangler is going to be decent if you're playing mid range. Wild Spider is going to be shit. Samantha Hammond is going to be really like the best case scenario. Acid Ma, pretty shit. It gets real like can crush really good scenarios too. Uh, so yeah, you could get like 50% chance to get a good card with each spell you cast. So maybe it will be Control Hunter thingy. The, because they could have got some other control fuels in this expansion, and I really like this card. It could be really, really good. Uh, but maybe it's a one off only. I'm trying to get port presence in turn two. I mean, this could be a late game card just to refill your hand with random stuff that you might, might, might not even want to use. I don't know. King of like is a 2 mana 3 2, it's an offensive card. Battle Cry, Revealing Minion in each deck. If you're across more, draw it. It just it's adjusting um, adjusting basically. So if you like have a control hunter, you're gonna have I don't know acid mob. You're gonna have Savannah Hymen. You're gonna have Ragnaros, Savannas. You're gonna have uh, Thorson. You're gonna have King Crush maybe even. And this card could actually draw you stuff. But then again, on turn two, you get a three two. Okay, that's that's basically stat line for two drops. But you draw a dead card that you're gonna use on like late game if you win the joust. If you don't, then you just you get a three two for two. It's a uh, bloodfin raptor, which is decent because it's a beast. It's a beast. It's a raptor with an upside. This might be a C play in a control hunter if it's a thing. Uh, next card is in the rare. Uh, power shot, deal 2 damage to minion and the minions next to it. It's a 3 mana cone of cold without freezing effect. This card is again control hunter thing. It's gonna counter aggro really good. You can like have double night juggler and uh, let them know. You kill all 3 with the 3 mana card. It's really really good. I really love this card. And I'm gonna play it. Uh, I'm gonna try to push control hunter. But I'm not gonna try craft dread scale because this card is gonna mech. Three mana four two beast dread scale. At the end of the turn, deal one damage to all other minions. If you do this on turn three against the aggro deck, you straight out win the game because they have to tr trade their Volt Fighter into it. They, it uh, removes their entire board if they are like aggro because one health minions are like signature of aggro. You destroy their uh, monster for battle. You destroy a lot of cards. This card could see play in, in a mid-range hunter even, just to stop uh, aggro, because aggro is mid-range is weak point. I like this card. If I open it, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna use it, but I'm not gonna craft it, because for the effect, it's not that great. Uh, next is Staple Master, uh, BGH stats and cost. Battle Cry, give a friendly beast immune this turn. So it's basically Bestial Wrath, Stapled on a, on a minion. <sighs> if Beast Hunter becomes a thing, it's still gonna be quite aggro ish. And uh, this card could then see play. But then, then again, 
Mm. On turn two, what do you play as a beast? Do you play Johanna Creeper? Not impressed. I don't think this card wants to play. It's also an epic, so it's basically gonna be 100 dust most hunters. And it's also very vulnerable. Vulnerable. So if it was a 3-3, three, three, maybe it would be C play. But as a 4-2, not really. Uh, Ram, Lang Ram Wrangler. Uh, 5 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, rare, if you Valkyrie, if you have a beast, summon a random beast. Let's just see. How many beasts do we actually have in the game? So we have uh, King of the Alex, Scavenging Hyena, Dreadscale, Big Hang Beast. We have Savannah Hyman, Acid Mog, Gazvilla, King Crush. We have Chicken, Crab, blah 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 blah, King Mukla. Uh, okay, there's like a huge chance to get a good value out of this. What the fuck? Mukla's champion is a beast. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a, good, it's a gorilla. Uh, yeah, uh, so you have like 60, per 60 or 70 percent chance to get a good beast on the board, which is really nice. I, uh, beast hunter again being pushed. This card is gonna be this. This card should see play. Next card is a rare ball of spider. Ball of spiders. Uh, six mana, summon three one one wet, wet thinners. They were on some drugs when they made this card. I don't know which one. If it was if it was four mana, it m could see play. But its current state, not really. Six mana uh, summon three wisps that give you random beasts when they die. It's kind of meh. I don't see it. Um, just it's just bad. It's too slow. Acid mo uh, seven mana four two. Whenever another minion takes damage, destroy it. Combo this with this trusty sidekick threat scale, and you have a board clear. But then again, it does not go through the mind shield, that it still doesn't do death rattles, and uh, dread scale hurts acid maw. So, yeah, and they're pretty weak bodies. So, control hunter, this could be a thing, but in the long run, I don't see this. I don't see who's gonna craft both of them or keep both of them. Next uh, class is Mage. We have uh, a 1 mana Epic, Arcane Blast. Deal 2 damage to minion. This spell gets double bonus from spell damage. So you have 1 spell damage, you can deal 4 damage. If you have um, a Mala Ghost, you deal 12 damage. But to a minion, so control, I guess, could be a thing, but not really. I don't see it. Control could be a thing, but uh, then again, why would you do? Why would you want this? You have fireball. You have doomsayer. You have stuff. It's unusable. Fallen hero, and he can't get up. Uh, two mana, three two. Your hero power deals one extra damage. In turn two, this shit is crazy. It's a really good body, and it's spell damage to your hero power, which is fucking crazy. I tried it in Brawl and it's really really good. I've comboed it with uh, Maiden of the Lake and uh, Kodar Drake and I got uh, wait I got 10 damage I got 20 damage in one turn no I got uh, 16 damage in one turn 16 damage in one turn and I killed Aleria with this combo this could actually be a thing after I tried it I was kinda skeptic about it but now that I tried it, it could actually work, and I could actually make this deck. I like this card a lot. 10 out of 10. Effigy is a 3 mana secret. When a minion dies, friendly minion dies, summon a random minion with the same cost. Crazy. I'm gonna play this in my Echo deck. It, this card is just fucking insane. Your Thorson dies, you can get the Sylvanas, you can get Sunwalker, you can get Karen. Holy shit, you can get Karen. You can get, I don't know, what's, you get 6 mana drop. I don't know. Anyway, this card is crazy. Even if you get, like, a 3 drop to resurrect, it's still very good because you get 3 mana for 3 mana, but you're gonna point at 6 plus mana to get this ultimate value. I really love this card. It's gonna definitely be played in every single slower, bit more costly. Maybe even Justing Mage could be a thing with this card. 
I don't know. We'll see. It's really nice. Polymorph Boar is a 3 mana spell. Uh, rare. Transform a minion into a 4 2 boar with charge. It's always tougher. <laughs> I don't know what, what they meant with this card, but uh, I tried it. I usually use it as a removal or as like attack with the old Esquire into face, transform it, and attack the face again, but that's about it. I don't think it's gonna see too much play against it's unless it's like aggro mage, but then again I would rather have a wolf fighter than this, because wolf fighter doesn't require another body to be used. So yeah. I don't know. This card could be gimmicky. Uh, that's all. Spell singer. Um three mana three four, insane. Uh, common, battle cry, and a random spell to each player's hand. This almost won my opponent's game. My opponent almost won because of this card, because it gave it like insane value. But still, uh, this card is really good. You get a free card. Your opponent gets a free card too. It's a free card draw. Mill Fatigue Mage? Maybe? Yeah. It could be. Um... Yeah, there are 220-ish spells in the game, and most of them are really good. Even if you get like one mana spell in secret, which is usually shit, you're still gonna get value because this is a crazy stat line. I like this card. I'm gonna play it. Reina, uh, Dalaran Aspirant, Aspirant. I don't know how you read it. From mana three fives, basic stat line. Inspire gain spell damage plus one. Never gonna see play. Two reasons. Too slow, and it's gonna get removed instantly. So I would call this five dust. Nope. Never gonna see play. Nope. Uh, flame mines. The animation of this card is insanely uh, awesome. Five mana deal eight damage to minion. Uh, it's uh, rag removal. But yeah. Usually this card is treated like it's shit. Uh, it didn't get good feedback from uh, some players that I've asked about this card. But I think it deserves a spot in uh, in Control Mage, definitely. I definitely think it deserves a spot there. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. It's really good. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not playing Fireball, so this, I'm not going to use Fireball in, on face, um, in Control Mage. I'm never, I'm never going to use Fireball in Control Mage, because it just sucks. I'd rather have this, one minute more, and two damage more to a minion, I can remove anything, if I don't have Polymorph, or if I don't want to use Polymorph on it, because I know, like, if he used, I don't know, Ragnaros, and I don't have BGH in my hand, because he used it on Boom last turn. I can use this on Rag, and I can pull more Tyrion next turn. This card is really good. I really like it. Koldara Drake is a 6-6 six, six, uh, for 6. Uh, epic, you can use your hero power any number of times. Again, this card is really good, but it, if you play it on an empty board, it's going to get removed, usually. Um, if it doesn't get removed, you're going to get sick value from it. You're going to play this, and turn 8, you're going to play Fallen Hero, and then you're is gonna get fucked, basically. Yes, you can use your hero power like uh, four times. No, you can use it three times, but you're still have, you're gonna deal six damage. It's crazy. I really like this card. I'm gonna craft it. Ronin is the mage legendary. Eight mana seven seven, which you would say like, what the fuck? This should be boom stat. This is, this should be a boom. Yeah, it, it kind of is. That's why I'll add the three copies of arcane missiles to your hand. I love this card a lot because it's basically death rattle for one mana more, gain an avenging wrath to your hand for th it costs three mana less and deals one more damage. That's really crazy. I really love this card. It's a three mana spell damaged avenging wrath, which is really crazy. It's nine damage across in this board. If you can play against aggro, you basically lose this if you, if you pull this out. Uh, I really love it. I'm gonna play this card in Control Mage, definitely. Uh, next, we have Paladin, which has Competitive Spirit. It's one mana secret. Whenever, uh, when your turn starts, you give your minions plus one plus one. Yep, 
Uh, this card is really good. You play this turn one, then you coin up muster. If your opponent can deal with it, you get three one ones, uh, two twos, for one mana more. It's fucking insane. I really love this card. Uh, but then again, it's just fuel for aggro, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it should see play. Uh, pal Face Paladin got a lot of uh, good stuff in this expansion. Argent Lands. Uh, it's a 2 mana 2 2. Battle Cry. Reveal a minion in each deck. If your costs more, deal one, uh, plus 1 durability. It's a 2 3 for 2. If you win the Joust. And the Joust should be won about 60 to 40 if you're playing a Joust deck. It's a Stormforge deck. I don't think this will see play. The animation is cool, but that's about it. The art is cool, I mean. No, this won't, this won't see play at all. Uh, just because it's like. It's just a. It's just a. Stormforge axe. If it was a fire, we win, win axe. Or if it gained plus one, plus one. Then it would be really, really good. I would really love this card. But if it's just a really. I don't see it. Uh, Seal of Champion. Seal of Champions. 3 mana, give a minion plus 3 attack and divine shield. It's uh, divine shield. It's the uh, hand of protection and blessing of might in one card for 1 mana more. And it's more fuel for face paladin. Turn 1, I don't know. What's good with that divine shield? War Worgen. Yeah. You attack, you get the Worgen, then you coin this out and you have a, a 5 1 Worgen with divine shield. Which is never going to get in the mood. It's really good. It's a really good card. If uh, Face Paladin becomes a thing, this is definitely gonna be. A, well, it's it's already a thing, but it's gonna get more played because of this card. It's really good. We got more synergy with Silverhand recruits here. Um, he doesn't even get Sundays off every day. He's supposed to hustling, hustling. Three mana, two four. Uh, common. Our Silverhand recruits have plus one attack. It's a uh, weak. It's a raid leader. Plus two health, and there is a reason raid leader doesn't get played. This is worse than raid leader because it only affects your silver hand recruits, and that's really bad. I don't think this card will still play. It might in an in a dude oriented deck. I don't know. This card is pretty bad. The stat line is good, but the effect is kind of bad. It's an aura effect as well, it's not a battle cry, so it's even worse. Murloc Knight. 4 mana, 3, 4. Inspire or summon a random Murloc. This card should be a 3 mana. Because it's 4 mana, you play 1 mana to spend another 2 mana to do nothing to summon a potentially bullshit card. And Murlocs are usually bullshit. It's their 2 1, their 2 3, their 3 3, but it's not worth it. No, I, I just don't see this being played ever. More like more like Paladin, even less. It's never gonna be played. We have another Justin card. It's a five mana five five Tusk card Jester. Your battle cry reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, restore seven health to your hero. Um, yep, this really card is really good. This will replace uh. Uh, Antique Healbot in Palad Index, Control Palad Index, and I'm definitely playing Control Palad after I'm seeing this card. This is, this is card is insane. I'm definitely making this if I don't get it. It's really good. I really love this card so much. Yeah, it's definitely gonna see play. Yep, I love, I love this. Uh, enter the Colosseum. Uh, six mana, epic. Destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minions. So if you both have like one minion that is highest attack on your board, if you have like both full board, this uh will destroy all minions. It's basically a brawl for one more mana, except your minion is guaranteed to survive, and then you can remove his minion with your minion. It's good to get best taunts. If they're not, um, if they're not Belcher, I really like this card. But then again, it's an epic, and it's 
really, really controlly, and this is not gonna see play, in my opinion. It could, it could, but it won't. Because it's too expensive. It's six mana to destroy all your minions. <laughs> Mysterious Challenger. Palakai, put one of each secret from your deck into the battlefield. Six mana, six, six. Secret Paladin usually is a, a very aggressive deck. And it lo it's looking to get his secrets out as soon as possible. And this card is too slow for that. I mean, it is a six mana, six, six, but you get, like, potentially, if you're playing all the secrets, you're getting five secrets out for zero mana. It's really crazy. But, again, this won't see play because it's too slow for an actual secret deck. And the legendary, you have a direct appear. It's a mana 3-7. Battlecry, change all enemy minions attacks to attack one, to one. Uh, this won't see play for two reasons. You have to get, like, at least four other minions... At least four opponent minions to get uh, fucked with this effect. And then you what? You have a, ch a shit ton of one man, one attack minions on their opponent's board. And then what do you do with them? They can be silenced, they can attack face again. If you use this against a hunter that has like most of its uh, stuff on two and three attack, you don't gain much. You just still get damage to face. And. I would rather still use, like, I don't know, Equality, Consecrate to remove stuff, rather than this card. I don't think it's going to stick play. I think people are rather going to use Equality, Consecrate, Pyro, Consecrate, Pyro, Equality, anything at all. I don't, I don't think it's going to play. Then we have my favorite class priest, uh, Flash Heal. One mana, Restore 5 Health. Yeah, five, one mana restore five health is insane. It's a better Naru that doesn't summon a minion for you. Then again, you can use this in combo with Akana. You can remove anything with this. Turn five, you can Akana remove a, 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 a Belcher. You can turn five remove. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Lothab, You can remove this plus uh, Light and Naru. You can remove um, a Ragnaros. It's pretty crazy. And you can heal out of. Uh, Lethal range, I guess, which is really good. This card is really, really uh, powerful. It's definitely going into my control deck. Yep. Power to glory. Uh, one mana. Choose a minion whenever it attacks. Restore full four health to your hero. It's an anti-aggro card, but then again, aggro won't be a thing. So, yeah. You can use it on a very sticky minion of your own to heal back up out of out of combo range, out of lethal range to be exact. You can use it on your opponent's tough, so hard to kill minion that you can just like get continuous health out of it if he doesn't tra if you don't give him ability to trade into something or if you don't give him ability to if or he just has to forsake attacking into your face or into your minions, which is really nice. This card could see play as one of in most decks, in some decks. Really, really high control and fatigue, maybe. Yeah. Confuse is a two mana epic. Sub the attack and health of all minions. This is again, uh, this is just an inner fire. You're going to play this either to get lethal or either to combo with uh, light bomb and with light bomb. It also kills the minions. I don't really see this card being played. Maybe it's a one of and in like one turn kill deck or something like that, but usually no. This could be really good against Shaman. All the totem, totems die. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I like this card, but I don't, I don't think it's an MC player. The, the, or the animation better be really fucking good for this card. I mean, otherwise I'm going to be really, really disappointed. This card is a convert. It's a two mana uh, uh, rare spell. Put a copy of an enemy minion into your hand. Turn 10, get a Ragnaros, play Ragnaros. Are you interested in health benefits? Yeah. Uh, you can get any minion you want. It's really good. It's a more stealing for priests, and I really like that. It's gonna see play as, as a one up, I think, in control priest. I don't know what, what, what would I remove for it. Maybe, uh. 
Let me see who's gonna take like that We'll see. This card could be really good. Rumorous Agent. It's a 2 mana 1 4 battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, gain plus 1 attack and taunt. Holy fucking shit. It's a 2 mana 1 uh, 2 4 taunt. 2 mana 2 4 for taunt. It's a 3 drop for 2 mana with taunt. Crazy, but you have to have the dragon. Then again, if you, if you like coin this out, turn 1. Holy shit, amazing things will happen. It's really a great card. And Dragon, Dragon Priest is finally gonna go places with this card. This could be the final push Priest needed for it. Yep, I like this. Uh, Shadow Fiend, a 3 mana 3 3. Uh, epic. Whenever you draw a card, reduce its cost by 1. I won't see this card being played at all. I mean, it looks cool. The art is really cool. The effect is pretty decent, but. Priest's draw is situational. And I'd rather play Thorson. My whole hand gets reduced by one, and I'm, as a priest, I'm gonna usually have quite a filled hand. Uh, so. I don't see this card being that great, to be honest. Yeah, this one's the play. Holy Champion, it's a 4 mana 3 5. Whenever a character is sealed, gate plus 2 attack. It's a pre specific uh, Light Warden on steroids. And I really, really, really like this. I'm gonna play this in my Tempo Priest and uh, Mid Range Priest. Not in control, I think, not in control. Because you don't usually play for Tempo in control, you play for actual control. I don't know. This could see play. It should see play. I hope it sees play. Because it's a really good card. And it really looks awesome in, in golden. So I'm gonna play it. I might even craft it golden. Spawn of the Shadows. Spawn of Shadows. It's a 4 mana 5 4. Inspire, deal 4 damage to each hero. Agro Priest, anybody? Noxious? Noxious. Agro Priest for you. So yeah, this, uh, it's an Agro card. It's like the top of the curve. Increased aggro, I think. Maybe because that's Holy Fire. Yeah, I should sit play. I like this card. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna try aggro priest. And my f probably favorite card of the set, or at least from the legendaries, Infesso Paltris. Seven mana, five four. That's bullshit. Inspire summon a random legendary minion. Um. Yeah. Uh, this card. Is come, gonna be combo with fencing coach. Fencing coach is battle cry. Right? Whenever next time you use your hero power, it costs zero. So turn six, uh, fencing coach. Turn seven, confessor Paltris, You get a free legendary minion, but you have 55% chance to get a legendary minion that is good, average or better, which is like stat line better. So uh, emo girly, my friend uh, and my teammate uh, from uh, House of Cards. Imogali uh, did the math for this card and he came out with 55% chance to get a good minion. So 55, uh, 45%. So it's a favorable, slightly favorable for you to get a really good minion, but then again, it could backfire really badly with like Major Domo. <laughs> if you get Major Domo, you're fucked. I don't know. I'm gonna craft this card definitely, but. And I'm gonna play it. Inspire Priest could see, could see play. We have rogue cards now. Uh, we have Buccaneer. It's a 1 mana 2 1. Whenever you equip a weapon, give it plus 1 attack. Um, turn 1 this, turn 2 dagger, you have 2 2 dagger. But. I'd rather use Deadly Poison. Maybe? Yeah, I'd rather use Deadly Poison. <laughs> Little Poison is better than this card. I don't see it being played unless it's Pirate Rogue. And Pirate Rogue has seen play before. And it's got Legend. Uh, Sixto got Legend with it, with Pirate Rogue. And I 
it should see plain pirate book. Pirate book could be a funny thing because it's got a lot of th stuff to support it. Cut purse. It's a two mana two two. Whenever this minion attacks uh, a hero, add the coin to your hand. Oh, just notice it, it, it attacks a hero. So even if it's like misdirected into your hero, it, it still gains. You still get a coin. Tempo Row could use this, but usually I don't think this is going to see play at all. This is not going to see play. It's a 2 man 2-2. Two, two. You're usually going to want to trade it into a juggler or something. I don't see it being played at all, to be honest. But it's a good it's a good card. On turn 3 you can coin out, you can again coin, 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 infinitely, as long as this card lives. So yeah. Coin this, and you attack a hero. Coin Shredder, you attack a hero. Wow, wait. No, never mind. Yeah. Under City Valiant, 2 mana, 3, 2. Combo, deal 1 damage. You can coin this, and you deal 1 damage. Then again, I'd rather play just Shiv. Because Shiv doesn't have to be comboed, and it draws your card. I think. Shiv is better than this card. And if you want to deal damage with combo, then I'm gonna use uh, SI7, which is a better card than this. I don't think this this will see play unless it's like aggro-ish combo tempo row, I don't know. Beneath the grounds is a three mana epic card. Shuffle three ambushes into your opponent's deck. When drawn, you summon a four four Nerubian. <laughs> no. It's an epic. Costs way too much for its effect, I think. I mean, three ambushes. This could be a mill rogue thing, but then again, in mill rogue, you're not going for board presence. You're going for milling. You're going to fill your opponent's hand. Just play your uh, cold lights, play your shadow steps, play your gang ups and stuff. This won't see play at all, I think. It's a good card. Don't get me wrong. I really love the concept. It's like the concept of uh, Iron Dragonheart. But then again, Iron Dragonheart doesn't seem in play, isn't it? And uh, ambush is ambush is a zero mana spell. Uh, when you draw the uh, summon a four four and a ruby for your opponent, draw a card. So I don't see this being played at all. Burgle is a three mana spell and add two random class cards to your hand from your opponent's class. It's uh, basically a bit bigger. I mean better. Nefarian for three mana because you can get any card just not just spells. You can get legendaries from this, so this is kind of good. But then again, no, I don't, I don't see this being played at all. Because turn three, I'd rather just like coin into teacher than burgle. Burgle isn't going to see play unless it's like fatigue rogue. But then again, that's Mill Rogue. Fatigue Rogue and Mill Rogue is the same thing. Then, then the, and the concept might be a bit different for Fatigue Rogue. I don't know. I don't think it's going to see play. See, the dealer is a 3 mana 3, 4 3. Already good stats. It's very good stats. And Battle Cry, if you have a pirate, you gain plus 1 plus 1. It's a 5 4 for 3 mana if you have a pirate. So turn 1 Buccaneer, turn 2, coin the the dealer. And you have like an insane board. Then again, this card requires you to have a pirate, and it's not a pirate itself, so I'm not convinced in this card. Mm, at least not yet. It might be a pirate rogue thing, but currently not enough pirates like exist to fill a whole deck of them. It has to have a lot of unused fill, uh, useless fillers, in my opinion. Next card is a poison. Uh, no, this card is actually named 100 Dust. Uh, four mana, one three weapon. Your hero gives your hero power gives this weapon plus one attack instead of replacing it. Why, Blizzard? Why? So you do this and you hero power and you have a two three weapon. Old references. No, it's not. You can play one, pay one more mana and get plus two plus one in Assassin's Blade. Which Assassin's Blade is just like completely destroying this card. You think again, this is pirate? It could see a pirate playing pirate deck with 
Then again, everybody runs Harrison and Ood, so you know, this card won't see play at all. This is just 100 dust, literally. Or 400 if you get it to golden. Shadow Pen Rider. 5 mana, 3, 7, gain plus 3 attack, combo. Uh, this one's see play just because Rogue does not usually go for late game like this. Or mid game. Rogue. Rogue's mid game is teachers, low at the Drakes, not this. One mana isn't something that stopped uh, Boulder Fist Ogre from being played. This is a Boulder Fist Ogre. Or one less mana, and you have to combo it, so. Yeah. Meh, you know? I don't, I don't see this being played. Anubarak is a 9 mana, 8 4, which is horrible. Death Rattle, return this to your hand and summon a 4 4 Nerubian. In the fatigue game, in the top deck game, this could be crazy. You can repeatedly trade it into something and you get 4 4 Nerubian and play it again. Play it again. You get a 4 4 Nerubian, play it again. But otherwise, than that, Rogan is never going to be a top deck work. And she's never going to want to spend a whole turn on a 9 mana minion. No, this won't ever see play. In my opinion, at least. I don't see anything played ever. Uh, next class is Shaman. This is a class I'm getting golden next. Ancestral Knowledge. It's a 2 mana, 2, uh, two overload. Draw 2 cards. It's 4 mana uh, in Arcane Intellect. I would actually play Earth Shock, um, Love Shock in the next Shaman meta. Just because of this card, note cards that we're gonna get to later. Yeah, this card should see play. Because Shaman doesn't have any consistent card draw uh, uh, so far, and except like Mana Tide Totem, and it gets instantly removed. Even by phase decks, they instantly remove, remove it. And this card. Should see boy, uh, just because Shaman doesn't have any actual draw. I like it. One of, or two of, not even actually. Totem Golem is the thing that's gonna make Shaman a thing. Two mana, three, four, overload one. You can equate this out on turn one, and you have a three, four. And then you can use, like, I don't know. Lightning Bolt to remove whatever your opponent has, and you still have a 3-4 on board. It's a huge board presence. I really love this card. I might try to craft it golden. Yep. Yeah, definitely. This this is a great, great card. Yep. It's a huge tempo game. Elemental uh, Destruction is a 3 mana epic. This uh, deal 4 to 5 damage to all minions. Overload 5. Overload 5. Overload 5. As I said, I probably want to play um, Lava Shock after this card. <laughs> Turn 5, you play this, and you Lava Shock, and then you have 6 mana next turn. Which is pretty good. And you'll not dealt 2 damage, you destroy the board. Yeah, it's a turn 5 Flame Strike. That doesn't end the end tank, take away your entire turn. I really like this card. It should see play. One of. Healing Wave. One of my other really, really... Really, really, uh, one of the favorites of uh, Shaman class. Two mana restore seven health. It's a healing touch. Uh, Jousting, if your minion costs more, restore fourteen health instead. Holy shit, that's fucking crazy. Yep. Yeah, I really, really love this card. I'm gonna play double. I'm gonna play double of this card instead of double heal bot because I play double heal bot in my deck right now, and uh, just to be able to hold on against all these aggro decks, and that is really what enables my uh, shaman deck to work. Yep, definitely. 
Plus card to Tamek, uh, another tempo card. It's a 3 mana, 3-2, uh, summon any random totem. So you can get Flame Tongue Totem, you can get Mana Tide Totem, you can get Vitality Totem, and you can get any of the 4 standard totems. So this is 1 in 7 chance to get any totem. It's basically very good. 1 mana uh, Hero Power, or 1 mana Mana Tide, it's really good. 1 mana any totem is really good. You can play this card because it's really, really a tempo card. It gives you 2 bodies. And it can stack your totems. You have like a spell damage totem on the board. You want another spell damage totem. You can gamble this one in seven to get another one. It's really really good. Charge timber is a four mana epic, a two four weapon. Death rattle. Your hero power becomes still two damage. This will never be played because you have to use four charges of this to get your hero power, and it costs four mana, and it's only to attack. Yeah, this is another 400 du uh, 100 dust for me. I don't see it ever being played. I mean, if you're gonna play like, oh man, aggro shaman is gonna be so awesome th with this card. No, because you have to wait four turns to play it. You have to like wait four turns to even get it on the board, and then another four turns to actually get your hero power. Or you could get like this, and turn five you can uh, doomhammer to get your hero power. But then again, that's really poor usage of your entire four, turn four. That's just me, I guess. Drenade Totem Carver. 4-4, uh, four, four, battle cry, gain plus one, plus one for each friendly totem. Four mana. Uh, this is, again, pushing totems. Totem, totem Shaman. But Totem Shaman doesn't have the fuel or the possibility to play it. I mean, yeah, we got two new totem cards. We get Totem Golem, and we get Tuscar the Tamek. But then again, you, you can't persistently get enough Totems out. Turn 4, you're going to have like 2 Totems. If you have like, turn 1, Coin Totem, turn 2, Totem Golem, turn 3, Tuscar to Tamek, turn 4, turn 8, Totem Carver, you're going to have 7-7. Seven, seven. But they, one of them is going to get removed. Two of them are going to get removed. All of them are going to get removed, and that's the weakness of this card. The totems are really weak. Yeah, you can argue that you're get, you can get like uh, totemic might, but totemic might is really bad. I don't see this card being played. It's another twenty dust. Thunder Bluff Valiant, five mana, three six. Weird stat line. Really weird stat line. It's a new one, I think. Um, Inspire, give your totems plus two attack. It's a turn seven play. It's a seven mana, three six, battle cry, give your opponent, give your you know, totems plus two attack. But then again, when are you gonna have that many totems to make this worthwhile? Never. The Mist Caller, six mana, four four, battle cry, give all minions in your hand and in your deck plus one plus one. Who is on the OP train with me here? You play this turn 6. Turn 7 you can have an 8-8 eight, eight Dr. Boom. No, okay, that's not a big deal. But you can get like a 4-5 Totem Golem for 2 mana. You can get any Totem in your deck for, for one, with one more attack and one more health, which is going to make them hardly removable. You're going to have 4-6 uh, Belchers. Uh, You're going to get a 4-6... Uh, um, I like here. It's really a crazy card. I think I'm gonna craft it and play it instead of maybe even instead of Solana's in my shaman deck. It should be good. I really love this card. Uh, next class we have is uh, Warlock. We have a Demon Fuse, and this card is getting a lot of shit for being horrible. Two mana give a minion give a demon plus three plus three. Plus three, plus three. Give your opponent mana crystal. Nope. Too much, too much uh, advantage to your opponent. I mean, you can turn one coin out. What's a two, two mana drop? Yeah, you can turn turn one coin wrath guard into turn two demon fuse. You have a seven six wrath guard on the board.
crazy, but your opponent is then on turn three or four. He's on turn four. And then he can just any removal possible, which is kind of meh. Then you get fucked. This card's bad. Might play one of in a zoo deck. But, you know, you have any problem with mana crystals, really, really great, really, really cruel. It's really a, a lot of advantage to your opponent. Tiny Knight of Evil. It's a 2 mana 3 2. Whenever you discard a card, gain plus 1 plus 1. Never gonna see play. Two reasons. You have to discard cards on turn 3. And when are you gonna discard cards on turn 3? Never. You have to discard multiple cards to make it worthwhile. And when you're gonna do that, rarely. You just play Doom Guard that discards card in your zoo deck. Discard Warlock will never be a thing no matter how hard they try to push it in this expansion. Wrath Guard is a 2 mana 4 3 common. Whenever this minion takes damage, also deal that amount to your hero. So, if this gets Shield Slammed for 30, you take 30 damage and you die. Yep. But as a one, as a turn one, this card is insane. It will trade with anything. You will take some damage. That's okay. But you will also deal a lot of damage, which is even better. I'm definitely playing this card in my zoo deck. Maybe instead of my Nerubian egg, even. And that's gonna change the whole structure of the deck. It's really crazy. Uh, Fist of Jaraxxus. It's a four mana spell. Whenever you play or discard this card. Uh, deal for damage to random enemy. Not actually Jaraxxus Fist. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, this card is bad. You have you have to discard it, and the chance to discard exactly that card exactly when you need it, and exactly to hit the minion or the face when you need it, is really really small. This card is never going to be played because it's too expensive. It's a dead card until you accidentally discard it. And even if you discard it, it has to hit the right target you want, so I don't see it being played at all. Dreadsteed, it's a 4 mana 1 1, so Death Rattle dump summon itself. This card has so much potential. Death Rattle, uh, Vorlock could finally be awesome. You would play Dreadsteed, you would play, I don't know, what's, where's the other cards? Yeah, you would play a uh, Void Caller, you would play uh, Doom Guards, you would play a. Uh, Sneeds, you would play Power of the Sky Golem, Power of the, Sky, uh, Power of the Shredders, you would play uh, more Coils, and you would play uh, Baron Ribbon there. So turn 4, Dread State, turn 5, Baron Ribbon there, trade this into something, you get 2 of them, trade, and then you more Coil this, you get 3 of them, and draw a card. You get 3 of them that summon themselves. Over and over and over and over and over again. Amazingly crazy. I really, really love this card. But then again, it's not really something you want to spend your turn four on. I'd rather summon like uh, Void Color and then get the this out of Void Color would be pretty decent. Or out of Doom, out of Pain of Doom. I'd like this card. I'm definitely gonna test it if I get it. Dark Bargain is a 6 mana hard removal for uh, Warlocks. Uh, destroy 2 random enemy minions, discard 2 random, scar random cards. Again, discard Shaman, uh, discard Warlock is trying to be pushed forward. But then again, to dest destroy 2 random enemy minions is a highly controlly card, but then again, in control, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to discard your cards that you might need to win the game. So, yeah. This card could be played as a one-off. Then again, I don't want to discard my cards, you know? Next card we have is Void Crusher. It looks like a Void Walker on steroids. Uh, six mana, five, four. Laura, that's horrible. Inspire, destroy a random minion for each player. And yes, it can destroy itself. So, this card is 20 dust. Basically, it's never gonna see play because it can destroy itself, and it's a mirror effect for the stats and the cost. It's really, really, really bad. Uh, we have a legendary Wilfred Fizzlebang, Master Summoner. It's a six mana four four. Horrible. 
Okay, I'll do draw for your hero power, cost zero. In theory, that's really, really insane, but in practice, when and how often is it going to work? In my opinion, this card won't see much play. This card won't be that great. This card won't be that awesome at all. Unless you're lucky and you pull like a Ragnaros, Sylvanas, Taurus, and anything over 3 mana for this. So, yeah. Yeah. This card could see play, but not in a very niche deck. Fearsome Doomguard is a vanilla 7 mana 6 8. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But it's a demon, so that is actually buff for Voidcaller and the Vein of Doom. If you get this from Vein of Doom or Voidcaller, you're not gonna be sad. You're gonna be actually happy about this. Because, and it's in the in arena. This card is insane. It's a 6 8. It trades with basically anything in arena. It's crazy good. And we're gonna go to the last class. And this first card is Bolster. Uh, 2 mana, give your taunt minions plus 2 plus 2. Crazy. A taunt foyer could be a thing. And it's getting a really a lot of taunt cards too. Um, turn one, double uh <laughs> you're gonna kill me for this, but double uh no gold shy footman. And then to turn two this, so you get a two three fours with taunt. Crazy. It's crazy. It's really really good. But then again, you have to build a whole deck around this specific card. But still, it's a really good card. Alastraza's Champion. Uh, 2 mana, 2, 3. Valakai, if you're holding a dragon, gain plus 1 attack and charge. Um, this card will be horrible. Because you have to hold a dragon. And dragons are all late game or mid game. And it's going to get charge and... Plus one attack, and it's an aggro card. If you're playing a if you're playing a uh, warrior, a dragon warrior, this card will be useless because you're playing control, playing heavy, heavy control. And this card is not something you want in control. You don't want a two mana charge minion to face, or a two mana card that just trades with a dungeon juggler. You much rather use a, a fire or axe. This card is pretty bad. It's like, again twenty dust. It's not going to see play at all. Uh, sparring partner, taunt, battle cry, give a minion, give a minion taunt. So you can combo this with Black Knight, of course, or you can just give your another, another minion of your choice a taunt. Can happen, bro. Uh, it's a two mana, three two with taunt. It's already really good. And then you get another minion taunt. It's even better because you can get like any minion for turn one. You can let coin out a two. Uh, you can coin out a two drop. Play this and then turn three. You can bolster. So you get a 5-4 with Taunt for 2, and you get a 4, a 3-6, six. 3-6 Armorsmith with Taunt. 3-6 Armorsmith with Taunt. It's crazy. Uh, King's Defender, 3 mana, 3-2 three, weapon. Battle cry if you have a minion with Taunt, game plus 1, double ability. This is bad. I'd rather, much rather play of Justify War Axe. This is, if it was a 2 mana weapon, then it would be crazy good. But in 3 mana... I'd much rather spend my three three mana to play a an acolyte of pain. It's pretty good. It's a pretty bad card. This is another twenty dust. Bash is a card that's gonna replace um shield block in my decks. Deal three damage, gain three armor. Three mana. It's basically armor up. Gain plus one armor. Armor for three. And uh shield slam for th Again, it's like it's a three mana, but you don't have to use hero hero power. That's a really, really, really good card. I'm gonna definitely play this. It's a really good card. Ogrimmar Aspirant. Whenever you give, give uh, whenever you use a hero power, give your weapon plus one attack. Three, three, three. No. It's pretty good. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, you, this is a turn five play. And you're gonna have like a death bite on turn four with one charge, and then you're gonna make it a three-two because you're gonna use your 
6 damage death bite. 6 damage counting the whirlwind effect. So this card won't see play. Weapon uh, weapon based warriors are usually aggro and they're going face, so this card won't ever see play because it's it's too slow for a face of warrior, you know? I don't see it being played ever. Magnetar Alpha. Uh, 4 mana, 5, 3. Did you like swap, swap, swap stats? That's weird. It's an epic. Also damages the minions next to wh whomever he attacks. And it's gonna get killed. Uh, it's basically, it dies to a 2 drop. It's a 4 drop that dies to a 2 drop. It's really bad. But then again, if it survives, you can kill a Belcher, a Belcher, and a Lowith all in the same hit. <laughs> Holy shit. But then again, it dies to a 2 drop. I don't think it's gonna see play. It's also an epic, so mm, people have to craft it most likely. Sea Reaver is a 6 mana 6 7. Whenever you draw this, when you draw this, deal 1 damage to your minions. It's another uh, math warrior buff, but then again, why would you play this? You're playing a, a deck that is all based on, on combo, and combo decks usually have very low cost cards. And this is not low cost. This is pretty bad, and you can't control when you're going to pull it. So it might ruin your combo. So you're like, yeah, now I'm going to, like... War song, frothing, frothing, whirlwind, whirlwind, double in a rage, and I'm gonna go into a battle rage, and then you're gonna, gonna throw this, and it's gonna kill your board. So no, this card is pretty bad. It might see like, no, nah, I can't see scenarios when it's good, but this is a very, very good card. Very in Ren. It's a ten mana. Holy shit! Seven seven. Uh, battle cry. Draw three cards. Put any minions you drew did let directly into battlefield. It takes your whole turn, yeah. But then again, if you draw three minions, Rag, Sylvana, Zalstraza, Sylvana, Isera, Thorison, Gromash, anything that is huge in your deck, even a Cold Acolyte of Pain is good, even a, even an Armorsmith is good, anything you get from this is pure value because already you drew three mana, three cards for three mana. It's already a better Arcane Intellect. And then you get uh, get three free minions on the board. It's a win or lose card. If you play this and it works, you get three minions out, and they survive the turn. Awesome, fucking insane. But then again, if you just get the quality consecrated or light bombed or the poison seeds. Yeah, you're getting fucked because you just wasted your four minions that could have had the battle cry or something. Three minions that could have had the battle cry on nothing. They just died. Also, this card is going to be crazy in arena because arena is uh, minion based, and if you play this in turn 10, you get three more minions, like almost guaranteed, and that is fucking crazy. This card is going to be top deck in arena. And that's going to conclude the video for the, for, na for now. I'm going to go uh, back to neutrals later and uh, review them. So, I hope you liked it. Uh, I'm gonna put a link down below for my team's uh, Facebook, Twitter, and my Twitter, and all of their, all of their Twitters and Facebooks, and uh, more Hearthstone also. So, make sure you go to those, uh, follow us, subscribe to our channels, and stuff like that, I don't know, what, whatever, and stay tuned. Bye!